Disconnect the control lines from the SA2 pilot supply filter. Remove the cap screws, washers, and nuts from the body and separate the filter cover and regulator cover from the body. When separating the covers from the body, be aware of loose components. Remove and inspect O-ring for damage or wear and replace if necessary. Lightly lubricate the O-ring before placing it back in the filter cover. Clean filter net and replace felt. Inspect diaphragm for damage or wear and replace if necessary. Check the seating surface of the screw unit for erosion, scratches, spurs, or other damage and replace if necessary. Unscrew and remove the regulator seat. Inspect the O-ring for damage or wear and replace if necessary. Lightly lubricate the O-ring. Pull disc holder unit out of the body. Inspect the seat for damage. Replace if necessary. Set the pad holder unit on the spring and insert the regulator seat. Tighten the regulator seat until it stops. Lightly lubricate the outer and inner rims of the diaphragm. Place the diaphragm onto the screw unit and slide the screw unit into the regulator seat. Place the felt and filter net on the filter cover. When reassembling, ensure the spring, plate, washer, spring washers, and screw nut are included. Use care to avoid damage to the parts when reassembling. Align the regulator cover over the body with the sense port opposite the pilot supply port. Insert the cap screws. Place washers and nuts on the end of the cap screws. Tighten the nuts.